Hello, welcome. We are going to go from this to this. As you can see, the dread or the fox lock doesn't have a loop. So I am going to show you how I attached it to her hair. It has no knots. It is painless. It looks as realistic as it can get actually. So I started off by braiding her hair individually just like this all through the hair and i used a little braiding gel to make my lines more obvious because her hair is a natural hair just to make it a little bit neater and initially like around the edges of her hair where her hair was kind of light i did the three strand braid all through but for where her hair is long like this area i would start off with the um, three strands and then when i get halfway i finished it all by twisting it this is just to make it easier to lose but i didn't twist it all the way because the hair would have swollen up kind of like um two strand twist it's going to puff off uh, puff up and i didn't want that so for the process of attaching the hair, I used the latch hook just as you saw and bent just a little bit. Okay, when I started initially, I would fold the hair over up to the length of her hair. I did that in a couple of pieces at the back, but I found out that the, it made the hair kind of thick at the end, like just fuller and thicker. I didn't want that. I wanted it to look as even as possible all through the hair. So I decided to just fold it a little bit to support it not to slide off and then sew it so this is the way the way i sew on the hair where i have a piece folded over so i have two layers covering her hair is different from the way i folded it when i ran out of the shorter piece and was now using just one one piece of the locks or the of the dread to cover her hair so when i have it my apologies when i have it folded over i would sew from one end because i didn't want the thread to be i wanted it to be as minimally visible as possible i would pass through the center of the the whole hair to the other edge so i would i am like sandwiching the her hair in between the two layers of thread hair extension so I would go for them from the middle, get to one side, sew that side like twice, go from the middle, get to the other side, sew it like twice. And I kept moving down just like that. Now that I am approaching where the shorter part of the hair extension is getting exhausted, when I pass through, I would not, like I knotted it on one side, pass through the middle to the other side, made like a final stitch and knotted it. Then at this point, the shorter hair is finished. I have to use this one piece to cover her hair. So I puffed up the hair extension just a little bit to make it more fluffy. Put her hair in the middle, folded it a little bit. As you can see, it doesn't get to cover her natural hair completely. So I would use the needle to prick one end of the hair extension, cross over her natural hair and pick the other end. By the time I pull my thread together, it envelops her natural hair nicely. So I try not to pull too much that the hair is too thin, right? So I would go from one side, jump her natural hair, pick the other side and pull. I wasn't knotting it until when I get towards the end of where her natural hair stops. So I don't have any, nothing else to envelope or blanket so i would just stop and knot and then i rubbed it on my hand and this is what it looks like this technique has developed we used to make this sewing dread before and all you would see is like parts of the hair lots of thread lots of sticky end if you notice when i started braiding the hair right immediately i added the needle and thread and reached the end of the thread i drew that knot that i tied where i tied off the end of the thread I drew it a little and tucked it into the sandwich of her hair and the first lock so that it would be inside. So minimizing that knotted end of the thread showing is going to make the hair look neater. Wherever I see that maybe for some reason it has come up 
back or I forgot to put it in, I use the scissors and trim it down as much as possible. Be careful not to cut the knot because the hair can start losing from there but I try to hide that knot as much as possible. So I will let you watch a couple of times more. Yeah, something else, like when I get to where her hair ended, right? In the ones you've seen me doing, in these locks you've seen me doing, these few ones you've seen me do, I, when I want to knot the last, last like the last so, so you know, the movement of the needle and thread, I would go around her head and form, like when I was done, it looked as if I used a rubber band, a tight rubber band to like compress the hair extension i didn't like how it wasn't looking even completely so i stopped knotting my final one around her whole hair so instead of going like passing the needle and thread round and knotting it to make it look as if i used the rubber band to compress it i would knot it um, vertically so instead of putting my needle going around the fox locks on her hair I would have it sliding like upwards as if I was going towards her scalp. But you understand, just very small movement. I would go from down, slide into the fox lock and form my knot, making it straight instead of around the distance so that it doesn't give me that like belted look. I didn't want it to keep giving that belted look where you can tell where her hair stopped. So that made it to look more aligned, more flawlessly straight you understand okay let me explain this one that we are looking at so that's the knot i have just pinched the knot and pulled it under my thumb there and sewn again so now the knot is going to be hidden with her hair okay that black like the first knot of the thread now i make sure to arrange her hair inside i've crossed over to the other side i sew I pinch the hair extension and the hair extension on that side, the hair extension and the hair extension on this side. Okay. At this point, I try to avoid her natural hair. Like, I try to not let the needle touch her natural hair. So I just pinch the hair extension on top and the hair extension. It's just like performing surgery. Like, I get the skin from the bottom and the skin from the top and sew it without going through the intestines of the hair. <laughs> okay so skip over pinch pinch so move to the other side pinch the top go over the intestine pinch the under knot it just like that and i wasn't knotting all the steps until i was getting towards where the short one was finishing and then when i start making this one i also don't knot it until i get to where her hair is ending i am just putting into consideration taking down this hair I know people carry this hair for up to six months where I stay. Yes, they just wash it and keep carrying it. And when your hair starts getting, uh, look at that belted look I was complaining about. Can you see how that place is kind of skinny? You can tell I knotted it up there. I didn't like it. I stopped making it like that. But that was towards the front shot. Just little change. I liked it better that way. So you just wash the hair and keep wearing it. And then when it starts getting old, there is this video Adana Madre Ken made where she revamped her, like to make your old box braid look fresh again. You know when you use a, a latch hook, a crochet pin to like pass the hair through your underneath where the braid started on your scalp and pull it up. You pass it again, pull it up, pass it again until it becomes tight, right? So this is where it's going to be very, very, very useful because that way you can just keep refreshing the bottom of the braid to make it look, you know, to make it look newer or to make it look tighter, the scalp. And it's dread, so it's going to look more like dread. And I feel as if someone can even transition into making natural dread from this. Some people wear this thing so long that the time they are taking it down, their hair has grown so much. So it's nice. I then finished the, the hair following the same procedure. Everything was still the same until I was done. So I'm just trying to fix her edges a little bit. And then we are going to proceed to cut the hair. She doesn't want it this long. It is long. It is long, but it's not appropriate for her job. So we had to cut it, cut it, cut it to like brass trap length. I feel as if like at the bottom of my heart, I feel as if I cut this hair like 
one inch too short or less than an inch too short like i would have just gone like a little just a little just a little a little bit longer like one inch longer i didn't say anything of course <laughs> i shut up my mouth and i just finished to her i don't know if it's just me or if she's okay with the length but i feel okay see at this point can you see it was perfectly where i wanted it to be when i was cutting it when i made it flat like this it was just where i wanted it to be but when we finished and then just scattered the hair a little bit and she moved her neck and i felt like it was kind of short i'm just saying this to let you know that you should maybe add one inch extra than what you want it to be and then when you step back move the hair around look at it then you can make up your mind if you really want to still take off like more length from it remember it is so easy to take off more when it comes to any diy i have noticed this whenever you're making something that is difficult to build back take off little by little it is so much easier <laughs> to take off more than to start figuring up how figuring out how to attach more at this point we are just trying to play around and see some very quick easy styles she can make and zoom out of the house and how it's going to look on her face so we are just checking what where each pattern looks what it looks like how suitable i was showing her how when you have long hair you don't need hair ties to tie your hair you just use one of them and that is nice so very quick easy ways to just change this up per day is to just play around with this, this style is like if you need quick three days hairstyle that looks the same but not exactly the same this is just a quick change and then you can also do know that in a week you can have your hair packed like this but change up the top section that's what i was saying to her change up the top section for it to look different and why i liked this look at the way i tied it right it's not going anywhere it felt so firm it's not like um regular braiding hair box braid that might just unravel off or sleek slickly sleek out this one once you pack it it stays there and we were able to you know who we're talking about at this point you know if you've watched i don't know if it's sister sister or sister love that tyra perry's movie about some black friends some like four ladies that are friends the banker girl right <clears throat> she's always styling beautiful beautiful styles so when i packed her hair to this side i was like oh my god this looks familiar i know someone that rocks her hair like this i can't think of it she was like oh is the banker in sister's is it sister sister or sister love or sister something i was like yes yes yes, 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 yes. that lady is an inspiration for styles thanks for watching bye